What's good everybody, this is Whiteboy503 coming at you with another PSP hacking tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use, um, or how to uh, put um, the latest edition of a, I don't even know how to say this, Daladulus X64R777. Uh, this is a um, N64 emulator. I finally found one that I can trust. I think, well let's hope, hope that it works um, perfectly fine. Um, they have said that there is a couple bugs for certain games and stuff like that, uh, so I hope uh, I didn't find the one game that, uh, or find the one that has the bugs in it. So, for this you will need to be on custom firmware. Um, I am running 6.60 Pro, Pro B10. Um, if you do not ha know how to install uh, custom firmware on your PSP, uh, just go check out my other videos and um, it'll walk you out through to do that. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, and I'm going to USB connection. Um, it's going to black out the screen, of course. But just give me one second. There we go. So this is what we need. Um, open the files, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your PSP folder, into your game folder, and then wherever you're going to put it. Um, I have the uh, uh, categories light on my PSP. That's why I have a uh, different folders and stuff like that. But I'm going to throw it in the emulators. Uh, I like having it like that. I don't like having it normal. Um, so I'm just going to throw that in there. Uh, it shouldn't take all that long. It's about 2 megabytes. And then um, you put your ROMs right in here. Well, for this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, and I'll throw that in there and give it a second to uh, copy over. And yeah. Alright. So... I'm going to exit out of USB mode, reset my VSH real quick, and then we are going to start up the uh, the emulator and hope to God it works. So, alright, let's just let the... Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna wait until after I boot up the emulator because it doesn't like going through the boot, um, the game boot. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Re Remote Joy is very, very uh, picky. They they really do need to update it. Um, it's been on this forever. All right, so there we go. Um, I have no clue how to work this thing. I am going to press circle. I guess I'm gonna press X. Let's press start. All right, that's what we wanted. All right, so I'm gonna go to ROMs, press that, and I guess we'll start emulation. And let that go through all of its stuff, and yeah. It's got a lot of stuff, I'm guessing. All right, sweet. Nintendo 64. Let's see if it has any volume. Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, it looks like it's going to work. It just looks like there's no volume. So, we'll just click we'll just click freaking V's, I guess. Um doesn't really matter. And we'll start this up and see how it goes. Should work. Just as it doesn't sound like there's any volume. It may just be the uh the ROM that I have. Um Okay, well yeah. I guess that's gonna be it. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Um I'll put the links to the emulator and the uh ROM, actually not the ROM, because I actually um, got flagged for putting a ROM in the uh, file description. So I will put the emulator, I won't be putting a ROM in this one, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I'm not trying to get flagged anymore because that looks bad. So it's not really hard, that really hard um, to uh, find ROMs, I will actually put in the description um, a link to a website that I use to download ROMs, but I won't give you the ROM itself. 
So yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.